Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning with the term vocal effusions. That is vocal effusions. And um, I'm still on 1 Kings chapter 19, the story of Elijah. I mean, uh, 1 Kings chapter 18, brilliant, brilliant move of Elijah. Wow, I'm so fascinated by it. But here is the principle. I mean, in, 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 in chapter 19, things begin to go awry and things begin to go wrong. Everything begin, looks as if the, the noise of, the, of, the, of the, victory, the victory song is cut short and the noise of applause dies out. And here's the principle. The, the interesting thing about it is that it was only one woman. Jezebel released a contrary voice. But what she said, what came out of her vocal cords, her vocal effusions, Great, great confusion. He demoralized the man of God, run him into the valley of despair, sealed him in the valley of discouragement, made sure that he lived under the canopy of depression. That was Jezebel. Jezebel only spoke. He said, may God do so to me and more also if I don't make Elijah's head like one of these, the heads of these prophets. She just spoke. But her voice was so powerful that her voice contradicted Elijah's faith and the uh, voice er erased Elijah's faith. It, her voice removed Elijah's confidence and made him cower in fear and made him run for dear life. That was Elijah. It was the voice of Jezebel that created all that great confusion in Elijah's life and in the end, it terminated his ministry. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10 onwards, the Bible says something succinctly that, is, that captures everything that we, 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 we're talking about. It says, there are, as it may be, different voices in the earth. There are different voices. And none of them is without significance. Or none of them is without signification. That's what the Bible then says, the King James says. So there are voices. And each and every voice is significant. But here's the principle. Some of the voices are from hell. Some of the voices you hear are from hell. Some of the, the vocal effusions that comes out are from hell. In fact, they're straight from hell. What are you saying? Yes, it is true. You remember when Jesus was uh, talking about his death and Peter said, no, there's no way you're going to understand. And then look at what Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Peter was not necessarily the Satan, but what he was saying was satanic. What he was saying was demonic. What he was saying was not coming from Peter. It was coming from hell. And that is exactly what I want to say this morning. Sometimes there are some voices that come and they, they assail our confidence. They, they, they destroy our faith and they, they are voices from hell. They are vocal effusions from hell. Don't listen to them. In fact, God has a problem and then God says, whose report would you believe? Would you believe the report of the enemy or you believe God's report? Evil report travels so fast. And there are all these voices. Sometimes they come to confuse you. They come to make you I mean, lose your confidence. They come to make you lose faith in God, lose faith in the church, lose faith in the, in the vision of the house or, or, or the church, lose faith in your company, lose faith in every people, lose faith in the man of God, lose faith in the voices, vocal effusions. That was Elijah's problem. Which vocal effusion are you dancing to? Which vocal effusion are you listening to? Which vocal effusion are you celebrating? Which vocal effusion do you surround yourself with it? Goliath also came talking pee, 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 like that, talking a lot. But guess what happens? You get it? They are just uh, vocal effusions filled with nothing. They are just gaseous. That's it. And many of us are trapped by those vocal effusions. And our life becomes misery. Our life becomes just a, a life of misery. And our countenance, countenances of sorrow. And we live in the valley of depression and we are always discouraged and we are depressed, despondent and despair. Depressed. All the Ds, the negative Ds. Because those vocal effusions are from hell. You know what? Ask God for a spirit of discernment. To be able to discern and decipher and decode what's going on. And to read in between the lines and to see where those voices are coming from. Because some of those vocal effusions are straight.
from hell. See you later.